In this video, we will try to solve a problem on a basic Keynesian model. The question is like this. In basic Keynesian model, it is assumed that uh, income is equal to consumption plus investment, where investment is 820 and consumption function is being given by 60 plus 0.8y. Okay. We have to find out the marginal propensity to consume first, then to find the equilibrium level of income, and we have to calculate the value of multiplier. Okay. Also, we have to find what increase in investment is required uh, to increase income to 5000 okay so let us see how to solve this so what we are being given we are being given y is equal to c plus i okay so y is our income c is the consumption expenditure i is the investment expenditure okay the value of i is being given us 820 this is our autonomous investment that very investment that does not depend upon the level of interest rate okay and our consumption function is c is equal to 60 plus 0 0.8 y okay we are being told in first question what is the marginal propensity to consume okay so since this is our consumption function and how do we interpret this consumption function it simply tells us consumption is a positive function of income that means if, if income increases consumption expenditure also increases okay and the first term here this is our autonomous consumption okay let me write it here this is our autonomous we say this is our autonomous consumption Okay, this 0 0.8, we call it marginal propensity to consume. Okay, and what does this 0 0.8 tell us here? So, the answer to the first question should be our marginal propensity to consume is equal to 0 0.8. Okay, how do we interpret this uh, marginal propensity to consume? It simply tells us, uh, this uh, value tells us if uh, our income increases by let us say one dollar okay one dollar that implies our consumption will increase by that means our consumption expenditure will increase by 0 0.8 dollars okay so our consumption will increase by 0 0.8 dollars that means we use 80 percent of our increase in income in consumption okay simple thing so uh, this 0 0.8 tells us if our income increases by one unit consumption expenditure will increase by 0 0.8 units okay simple thing what is the equilibrium level of income we have to find out the equilibrium level of income in the second part so how do we calculate equilibrium level of income let's write it here so this is our equilibrium condition that means our y is equal to consumption expenditure plus investment expenditure what is our consumption expenditure this very function so in place of c i can write this very thing 60 uh, plus 0 0.8 y okay by the way this autonomous consumption tells us when we have no income when we have zero income at that time we need to consume uh, we need to uh, what we call we have to make some positive consumption okay so that very level of uh, consumption which does not depend upon the level of income we call that autonomous consumption and obviously uh, when we have nothing that doesn't mean that we will not consume anything okay so we need this very amount of autonomous consumption in this case okay so coming to this this is our c what is our investment that is 820 okay so transposing this term here so this is y minus 0.8 y is equal to 820 plus 60 comes out to be 880 okay if we uh, take y common so we are left with 1 minus 0.8 is equal to 880 or we can write y this comes out to be 0 0.2 is equal to 880 which in turn implies we can write y into 0 0.2 can be written as 2 upon 10 is equal to 880 which implies y is equal to 880 into when transposing this term it will get reciprocated and multiplied to the rhs okay 
so we have two ones are two fives are ten that means our equilibrium level of income will be five zero 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 five eight zero forty five eight zero forty this comes out to be forty four hundred dollars okay this is our equilibrium level of income this is the answer to the second part okay now coming to the third part we are being told what is the value of multiplier okay what is the value of multiplier let's find out first we will try to see how to calculate the multiplier okay let me write the this very uh, this very function in general terms okay so let us say y is equal to c plus i okay consumption is equal to a plus b y okay this a is autonomous consumption b denotes marginal propensity to consume and y is the income okay so then our total income that means in equilibrium our y should be equal to c plus i which implies y is equal to a plus b y plus i transposing this term so we have y minus a sorry y minus i'm just trying to tell you how we calculate the multiplier so b y is equal to a plus i or trans taking y common we are left with 1 minus b is equal to a plus i and y is equal to if we transpose this it will get multiplied 1 minus b okay into a plus i okay this thing this is being called the multiplier okay and what does what does this multiplier tell us it simply tells us multiplier is a numerical value which shows amount of change in our endogenous variable when exogenous variable changes by one unit okay so what exactly does this mean so let me see here so what is the value of multiplier in the third part let's calculate the multiplier so multiplier will be multiplier as we have calculated it comes out to be 1 upon 1 minus what is this b this is mpc marginal propensity to consume okay so 1 upon what is our marginal propensity to consume 0 0.8 1 minus 0 0.8 which comes out to be 1 upon 0 0.2 which comes out to be 1 upon 0 0.2 can be written is like this 2 upon 10 when reciprocated that means we get 2.5 that means our multiplier is equal to 2.5 how do we interpret this multiplier it simply tells us when when the exogenous variables change by one unit our endogenous variable will change by 2.5 units okay let us interpret it again that means uh, if let us say if consumption expenditure increases by one unit okay one dollar that means our gdp gdp will increase by 2.5 dollars okay so this shows us this multiplier shows us with what factor does our income change when there is change in the consumption or in investment okay so this shows us the multiplier value multiplier effect what we also call it okay similarly if investment increases by one unit how much will our income increase this is being given by the multiplier value which is here 2.5 let us say if investment increases by one dollar okay that means our gdp will increase by this very much amount that means 2.5 units okay our uh, gdp will increase by 2.5 dollars okay i hope i am making myself clear in this video so coming to the next part what is our next part we have to see the increase in investment that is required to increase our income by sorry income to five thousand dollars okay for that uh, what should i rub here so let me rub this again to get the answer to the last part okay so we are being told how much should our investment increase if we want our national income to increase to five thousand dollars okay 
what was our initial equilibrium income originally our income was forty four hundred dollars okay we want this to increase to y should be equal to new y should be equal to five thousand dollars okay and we have to see how much should our investment increase so that our income reaches to five thousand dollars okay now what is the change in change in income is that means five thousand dollars minus forty four hundred dollars that means six hundred dollars we want to show we want to know we want to know in this case if our income changes by 600 units how much increase in investment is required so that change in income is 600 units how can we uh, calculate this simply we use the multiplier uh, effect again here okay that means we need to see how much our income increases due to change in investment okay that means del y upon del i okay and here it simply means we can take the derivative if we take derivative of this function okay that means we need to find out the investment multiplied here okay so this is our function if i write it again so actually we have y is equal to a upon 1 minus b plus i upon 1 minus b okay so what is the derivative of this function with respect to i since no a is in no i is involved so derivative will be here zero derivative of i is one so that means del y upon del i is equal to one upon one minus b okay which is equal to one upon one minus mpc okay if you don't use if you don't want to use the calculus you can easily uh, remember this very thing here okay that means investment multiplier is equal to 1 upon 1 minus mpc okay so what is the 1 minus mpc 1 minus 0 0.8 which comes out to be 1 minus 0 0.2 okay that means if we write it again this comes out to be as we have calculated earlier this comes out to be 2.5 okay that means change in income with respect to change in investment is equal to 2.5 okay if we transpose this here that means change in income is equal to 2.5 into change in investment what do we need to find out we need to find out the change in investment expenditure okay so what is change in income that we need that is six hundred dollars so let me write it here six hundred dollars is equal to two point five into del i okay or change in investment will be equal to six hundred upon two point five okay what is two point five two point five so let us calculate we have six hundred upon twenty five upon ten this comes out to be six hundred if we reciprocate it when we change it to the this will become like this 25 i hope i am making the calculation right here so we have 5 2 are 10 5 5 are 25 5 1 are 5 5 2 are 10 5 0 are 0 so what does this mean I'm not sure whether I have done the calculation right or not. So this comes out to be 2 upon 10. Sorry, it is here. I have not done the calculation right here. What is 1 upon 2 point? Uh, that is 1. This can be written as 2 upon 10. Okay, this becomes uh, 10 upon 2. Okay, 10 upon 2, which means our multiplier is 5. Okay, so again, uh, in the earlier video, sorry in the earlier part our multiplier should have been 5 okay so if we divide it by 5 which implies uh, 5 ones are 5 5 2 5 two are 10 5 zero are 0 that means our investment should increase by 120 units so that our income increases to five thousand dollars okay so let me write it again I hope you are not getting confused. If you want 
if you want to write it in short terms i, I was just trying to explain it here so our investment multiplier is simply being given by 1 upon m p c okay investment means change in income with respect to change in investment is equal to 1 upon 1 minus m p c and when you change in income is equal to 1 upon 1 minus m p c into del i okay just give the value of del y here you know the investment uh, sorry you know the modern propensity to consume you will be able to find out the change in investment that is required to increase our income to five thousand dollars i hope i make myself clear in this videos so, okay so there were some uh, uh, numerical calculational sorry calculational uh, mistakes here okay in calculating the mpc multiplier effect so i apologize for that but i tried my best to make this video more simple for you you people thank you